Afternoon, Sir Jerome Morales from Reuters News. Sir, uh, there have been uh, uh, concerns on uh, extrajudicial killing, Sir, uh, and you will meet uh, leaders. Uh, any line of communication that we have prepared to to address this issue in front of our uh, other foreign leaders? Extrajudicial killing? Yes, human rights. To whom shall I address myself to? And who will be asking the questions? May I know? You know, the Philippines is not a vassal state. We have long ceased to be a colony of the United States. Alam mo marami niya mga sa kolumnista, they look upon Obama and the United States as if we are the lap dogs of this country. I, I do not respond to anybody but to the people of the Republic of the Philippines. Wala po ang pakialam sa kanya. Who is he? When as a matter of fact, at the turn of the century, before the Americans left the Philippines in the pacification campaign of the Moro in this island, there were about 6 million of population ng Moro. How many died? 600. If you can answer that question and give the apology, I will answer him. I am not beholden to anybody. Ito, may mga kolumnista dyan na uh, wait until he meets. Who is he? No. I am a president of a sovereign state. And we have long ceased to be a colony. I do not have any master except the Filipino people. Nobody but nobody. You must be respectful. Don't just throw away questions and statements. Putang ina, mamurahin kita dyan sa forum na yan. Mga ganun na yun. Tell that to everybody. Ito mga kolumnista, para ba akong tinatakot? Anak ka na. Pumunta, umalis kayo dyan sa Pilipinas. Pumunta kayo doon sa Amerika. You, you, you write columns as you're the lapdogs of this American... Who is it to confront me? As a matter of fact, he has to many. America has one too many to answer for the misdeeds in this country. Hanggang ngayon, hindi pa tayo nakatikin ng apology niyan. That is the reason why Mindanao continue or continues to boil. Sabi mo that was the last century, young wounds na yan from generation to generation. As a matter of fact, we inherited this problem from the United States. Why? Because they invaded this country and made us their subjugated people. Everybody has a terrible record of extrajudicial killing. We make an issue about fighting crime. Mahingi na niya maubos-ubos niya sa Mexico border niya. Look at the human rights of America along that line. The way how they treat the migrants there. Masyado kayong bilib sa Amerika. Bumilib kayo dito sa atin, Amerika. Siya ang mag-explain sa akin kung bakit ganyang extrajudicial killing nila. Can he explain the 600,000 Moro massacred in this island? Do you want to see the pictures? Maybe I'll ask him. I'll make it public. We have a recorded history of that sordid period of our national life. Nobody but nobody can just... Sino ka? Eh, yung mga American Indians mo, sa sino lang, inubos mo eh. Oh, what about the rights of those guys who died in the past? Is it because it's just the past tense we do not answer for the present tense? You must be kidding. Stop joking yourself. Kayong mga sobra kabilib niyang, who is you, Obama, to, to ask me that? I'll tell him, who are you? Tell him that. Telegraph mo ngayon. Di ako putang. Punta dito na pagkaulila dyan sa mga. We have long been a republic. 
I do not. I said, I do not kneel down before anybody else except the Filipino in Quiapo walking in misery and in extreme poverty and anger. Hindi kayo maghunto na sa droga. The, the campaign against drug will continue. Maraming mamatay dyan. Plenty will be killed until the last pusher is out of the streets. Until the drug manufacturer is killed, we will continue and I will continue and I don't give a shit about anybody observing my behavior. Sige na mabilive kayo dyan. Ayan yung mga kulom nagbasa. Sus Mario Josep. Pagkalapdog ng mga pretending to be the conscience of this 